Hi guys, today I'm here with a large box. That's the Lemon Humidifier. It's not just like a standard humidifier. There are especially two things which you have to know about this very powerful humidifier. The first thing, it's a two-in-one. So it cannot only increase the humidity in the air, but it has already a very advanced filtration system inside. It has basically all the functions which we can ever imagine to have in a humidifier. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get during the assembly, and then I'm going to compare it to a normal standard ultrasound humidifier. It's very important to know the difference, so stay tuned till the very end of the video. So let's open the box, see what we get. comes with this power supply, remote control, detailed instructions, manual has also good protection so let's take it out here we have it power supply comes with a long cable and we get the quick starter guide very very helpful if you don't have a lot of time but of course it's highly recommended to read everything here from the detailed manual the remote control comes already with the battery inserted so we have to just pull out this protection on top we have some sticker with some information how to fill it up also some protection for a beautiful display. Of course, also important to remove all the tape, also the ones on the side. And so finally, you can lift off the top. So we have access to the filter. Comes nicely sealed. We can remove it. And so we have here these three main components of this device. As a first thing here, we have the polymer filter. That's really nice air filter. If you think it needs some cleaning, you can wash it directly under tap water. Absolutely awesome. And here's the upper part from the inside. And we can see the large fan and the UV light, which can help for sanitization of the water. Then we have the water container with the built-in water filter, which we have to put in the center down here. We have the opening to see how much water is left. We can fill the water directly here. Or we can assemble it like that, putting a filter here on top, then adding the controlling device and the fan on top. Make sure that you align this notch here. And so as a second option, we can fill it easily from the top. Very convenient. And here on top, we have also the opening for the aromatherapy. So we center it here in the middle. We can remove this. Then we have this pad where we can use a couple of drops of the aromatherapy here and close it again. And so with this lid, we have two options. We can have it in the off position or in the on position. And so we are connecting the power supply. And so we are now ready to go. You can see the water level here, easy to see. And on top, we can turn it on here. Sensor button, very easy to use. It shows automatically the current humidity. It shows also if the UV light is active and the negative ion. Here we have the indicator of the airspeed. That's the lowest airspeed. It's pretty quiet. We can increase that to level 2. Where we have much more air, more filtration. Or we can even go to level 3 where we have a really strong airflow and of course maximum humidification. Or we can press long here for the night mode. Night mode means it will turn off the display and go into the lowest speed automatically. We can just push here and then remove the night mode. But also without the night mode, it will go into a dim mode after a short time. Now we are in the dim mode and we can just push anywhere and it will come back. Down here we can adjust the desired humidity. You can see the maximum is 75, then it starts over to 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and so on. But of course we don't have to use the automatic mode with a target humidity. We can also go back here after we press a couple of times. You can see now with these two dashes it's in the always own mode. Compared to other models, the huge advantage is that if it has reached the target humidity, it will completely turn off and not only reduce to level one. We can see that here. Now we are at 55, target is 40, and it has totally turned off. When we long press down here, we can either activate or deactivate the UV and the negative ion sanitization. 
and on the left side we have a timer which starts from one hour and goes up to 14 hours and when we press again it will remove the timer and for everything we can even use the remote control so i have been talking a lot and i've been showing you really good positive things but there is much more and that's especially when we compare it to other humidifiers especially to ultrasound humidifiers and I mean that's not a bad one it's a pretty good standard model you can see pretty efficient puts out a lot of humidity almost as much as this one here but there are quite some disadvantages here or advantages for this one here the first huge advantage is this is only a humidifier this is a humidifier and an air purifier at the same time here we do not have any kind of filtration but here we have a ceramic filter we have uv light we have negative ion technology to help sterilize the water then we have this awesome remote control here we can add aromatherapy which we can't here we have the larger tank it has the higher humidifying output it has also a timer again it turns off fully when it has reached the target and then the biggest advantage of all the evaporation humidifiers compared to ultrasound humidifiers is that pretty much the only thing which is coming out here is water no matter what you're putting here inside because it's evaporation but here everything which is in the tank could be bacteria could be viruses could be other contamination everything will put into the air so you have to be super careful with this one here as soon as you have some contamination here it will go into the air and you are breathing this in and this is not going to happen here and this is not just me saying that i've done some research about that and here's what the epa very important government organization of the usa is saying the two types of humidifiers which generally appear to produce the greatest dispersion of both microorganisms and minerals are ultrasonic and impeller and here we have an ultrasonic of course they are also saying two additional types of humidifiers can allow for growth of microorganism if they are equipped with a tank here we have a tank that holds standing water so there could be something in the water but it's just in the tank it doesn't mean it come out you can see what they are writing but generally disperse less if any of these pollutants into the air so huge difference and these are evaporative system and steam vaporizers so huge advantage confirmed by the epa so i would say we have definitely a clear winner when it comes to size power style functions and even safety for you for your family for your children for your pets whatsoever but of course i'm not saying it, this is a bad thing this is much cheaper but of course not in any kind comparable to this one here but of course if it's uh, only a budget decision then you can go with this one here but of course if it's function safety or power then definitely go with this one here and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time